So my name is Dave Cook. I'm the manager for the reliability lab here in Intel in Hawthorne Farms. I'm basically making us a little more efficient. Um, the way we analyze the data, the way we handle the data, um, how much product that we get through, how many different products, so that we can do the right kinds of tests very quickly, get feedback to our engineers, and uh, make, make our development process as streamlined as I can. In the back of the lab, uh, there's an acoustics chamber where we do some very uh, fine measurements of noise and frequencies of noise and intensity of noise. We have uh, large, we'll call them irradiated chambers, and those can be used for both looking at what were systems uh, radiating, their antennas set up, and the uh, device under test or the system or board or whatever rotates on a turntable. So the antenna stays fixed and it's getting all the directions that the, that the product emits. They also use the same room for, for this immunity test where you're bombarding the product as it rotates. Um, then we have equipment for power line noise and, and uh, how our product re re reacts to that. We have um, equipment for ESD, you know, you walk across a room and you touch something after being on a carpet, you know, is that going to fry my computer? As we're working through the lab, then you get into our chambers where we're testing for temperature and humidity as well as fatigue. So will it survive in this environment? What, what happens when you know, it's 80% humidity and 100 degrees? What's going to happen in, in sort of all these sort of environmental situations? So we have quite a cross-section of equipment. And then as you said, when we get to this lab, we have vibration tables that will shake in various axes. We have three actual uh, drop tables. We have uh, drops, uh, large tables for dropping systems. And then we actually even have in the back that a uh, table like this, much larger, that you can take a whole pallet that you're going to ship, assemble the products on it, and subject it to the stress that it would see bundled in a pallet of systems uh, shipped out. 